Pressure, we decided, um, was the force per unit area. So what causes pressure is the force and the area over which it's applied. So if we write that out in equation form, uh, we get P equals F divided by E. Most commonly, the standard units for pressure are going to be newtons per metre squared. But occasionally, you might run into pascals. One pascal, one P, small a, is equal to one newton per metre squared. So we looked at an example like this. We looked at the old elephant standing on your foot. And calculated the area there, pi r squared. Calculated the force. The force was caused by weight. And then used P equals F A to give us an answer. So it's 245,000 newtons per meter squared. Finished up with a little example on how the formula actually works. We went back to a problem that we looked at with um, impulse and airbags and somebody was actually hitting their face off the steering wheel. By, if we think about that in terms of pressure, you're increasing the area of contact with the head or with the face. Um, so therefore, if you look at P equals FA, it's the same force, because it's the same change in momentum that's got to happen. It's a larger area of contact though, so the pressure is decreased. And that's what pressure is all about. It's all about the force that you apply over a certain area. So that's why people wear snowshoes, they spread someone's forced their weight over a larger area, so therefore the pressure is less. Think about walking down the beach in a pair of shoes or a pair of high heels. The high heels will sink into the ground because the, the same force is exerted over a smaller area. So pressure is force per unit area measured in newtons per meter squared. Think of all those examples if you're trying to remember what pressure is.